Hey. <laughs> they can hear you. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I gotta get to it. <gasps> We're live. They, they might not have heard you, so hopefully they didn't. All right, let's see here. It's a joke. We gotta pop out the uh, chat. Anita, what's up? There you go. Aren't you, hey, giving, aren't you giving something away? Are we? Free dent repair? <laughs> <laughs> Say what? Free dent repair, huh? Gabe says he's a pro now on uh, YouTube. No. He's like, let me say hi to all the people I stepped on. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Corey is probably going to be uh, jealous. Has Corey been on here? Yeah, he thinks he thinks he's famous already. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Did I win something? Uh, you won the a-hole of the year, JJ. <laughs> the nicest a-hole of the year. <laughs> I was gonna get you a shirt the other day at the mall that said that. We'll let a couple more people in. I don't know how to use that stuff. You're gonna learn today? You're gonna learn today! Let's just, no, we can't start mixing this. Normally we start to, we'll mix this before. Right. But you don't want to do that with Quick Coat because you have about a 15 minute window. And if it sits in here and you're just sitting here talking, it'll heat up and harden just like right. that. You don't even, okay. you don't even know. Woo, of a winner. What's up, Christy, Christine, Daphne, Dawn, Misty, Mary, Roxy, Bethany, Robin, Jeff and Jess. This is Gabe. <laughs> he is not a Mexican cartel leader. <coughs> nope. If I gave him my if I gave him my Carreras, he would look like a Mexican cartel leader. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do, Gabe um, brought this little mold over. So uh, we're gonna do a little mold of a Frenchie. He has a Frenchie named Taco. Why are we in black and white? Um, that's just our intro thing. Okay. Just to, so that people know that we haven't gone live yet. So gotcha. they jump in, they know they haven't missed anything. JJ says, hey. What's Misty up? says, hey. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, we're just going to do uh, a stone coat, quick coat, and then um, if you guys tell me how to use the uh, casting epoxy, we'll do a casting one so we can see it without bubbles or smoking. This stuff will smoke when it heats up. That's how hot it gets. So yeah. Alright, so hold tight. We'll be right back. So, if you're new to the channel, I am Thornton. This is my friend Gabe. He's fairly new. Um, this is Artist Till Death. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. We just hit 34,500. Very excited about that. Thank you to everybody. Um, all right, so we're going to use some Stone Quote Quick Coat. This is what we're using today. Um, we're going to do a mold of a little Frenchy Bulldog that Gabe brought. That um, I'm not sure what he's going to use it for. Maybe a paperweight. Who knows? Um, but he's just going to do it in black. Um, if you know better, you should know better to... If you're going to use Quick Coat for anything, make sure it's full of color. And... Um, you do it quickly because it will set up in about 15 minutes and be completely dry in about two hours, like completely, like you can set something on it. Um, 
but you have about a 15 minute to 30 minute working time depending on you know what i think it's only like 15 minutes i don't even want to say 30 because i'm not going to go i'm not going to do that to you guys that's like you don't want to do that <clears throat> Okay, hello, all right. Her daughter has a Frenchie, Robin. Um, Gabe's Frenchie, his name is Taco. He's super hype, hyperactive, super nice. Romper room, yeah. Yep, the shirt fit a little snug on Taco. Oh yeah, he put, uh... all right, so we're gonna open this. I need a exacto blade somewhere. Wait, is there one over here somewhere? There's got to be at least one. Here we go. Um, and it's a two to one, or two to, excuse me, a one to one mix. Um, so, and we're just going to make enough to fit in this little mold. And if we have any left over that's not already set up, we can maybe make a coaster, but that's highly, highly unlikely. Oh, this is already open. Sweet. All right. And if I go too fast or I uh, miss something or miss a question, please uh, feel free to ask it again. If I missed it, one of our one of our people in here, um, anybody really in here, if they know, they'll answer. Um, especially the people with the little blue wrenches. Uh, those are the admins and if you get out of line one of those little blue wrenches will hit you over the head with it and uh, get, Kick you out <gasps> Laura Taylor What I didn't even see you in here What Laura Taylor Up to her antics again she made her presence known. Yes. Thank you so much Laura Taylor. You were awesome. All right, so um Normally we pour, we pour part B, but I think these are probably equally, equally, um, the thick, Laura Taylor, look at you. All right, so let's just make, why don't we just make two ounces? You think two ounces will fit in there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we don't want <clears throat> to, let's just make, we'll make. Two and two, that's just about three. Two and two is four. Oh, no, up here and up here. Gotcha. So one and one, that's about three and a half. So let's do that. I don't, I don't know. You think that's going to be enough? And then no, go it's going to go up. Go well, two. Hit two? All right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Oh, you know what I don't remember? This cap goes on here. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because that had that on there. That one didn't. Right. Because <clears throat> if not, this is going to be stuck to that now. Right. <laughs> Laura Taylor, you're awesome. Is Judy in here? Oh, Judy Russell. What's up, everybody? Petra, what's up? Ooh, look how much that went up. Yeah. We're gonna have to go just a little bit over three. Oh no, just a little bit over two, right? A little over two. Is it two to one mixture? Just a one, one to one. one. Okay. Yeah. All right, so hopefully that will do it. And then you just stir it. All right, what we're gonna do, here, stir that. And don't stir it too crazy. And then if you see these little bubbles come up, blow them away, like get out of their way. You don't want those. So we're only gonna make one color. He just wants a little black one since his, uh, his uh, Frenchie is black. He's blue. He's blue. Sorry, I didn't. You, you want it black. You want blue? I want like, like a blue gray. You have gray? You we can make gray? gray. Yeah, let's make gray. Where's that white at? I don't try back. That's right. I was like, why are we doing solid black? Death bubbles. All right, so we're going to use uh, 
Color Obsessions, Snow White. And we're going to put just a little bit of black in there. And we'll use this. Is that enough mixing? Uh, do the sides and the stick. Especially with that stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. This is not mixed up. I don't think we've used this black in a while. Okay. Now we'll do we not have any heat here? Oh my. Where's my beef paint? Get all out. We can't be all out. Oh boy, that stuff's gonna start setting up. I can find some black. <laughs> <laughs> this black is not wanting to be. Hold on. So we'll use some stone coat black. That's enough. think either we're just going to pour that directly so let's I don't even know why I put that in there gotcha. God, that is a lot of resin so we'll use this white that's a lot and then we'll just put just a dab of this black just a tin it yeah And if we need more, we can do more. That's more of a dark gray, or a little bit of a gray, right? Yeah. <clears throat> a light gray. There's a little bit more. Now I'm racing against time here. You'll know because the couple start getting hot. Right. There's a nice gray. What do you think? I think that looks good. You like that? That's a little well, light. Maybe left, darken it up just a little darker. tad bit more. All right, what do you think of that? Yeah, that's good. All right, so what we're gonna do so that we don't get too many bubbles is you're supposed to start pouring a mold at the at the lowest spot and just keep it there so that you uh, it fills in all the cracks and crevices and and whatnot and I'm just pouring it super slow can they see? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Gabe, I think we made just enough. We got some left in there. So by the time we get done with this. Yeah. All right. So I like to like kind of drop it so that the air bubbles will try to move at least. I'm gonna do an alcohol ink or something. I'm just, I'm trying to pop some of the bubbles, which I know probably won't, but look, it's already setting up. That's what that is. Oh, wow. <clears throat> That's fast. Yeah. Especially when you have a lot like this.
So like I said, this is like a probably a 15 minute working time, if that. And once it's like if, if you if you just leave it in here, it'll start setting up like and then and the the heat will come. Bethany, thank you so much. And then somebody else sent some too. Claire Lawrence, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. All right, let's close this. Misty, always to let anyone know about your mission. Thank you so much. You guys, you guys are awesome. I wish I had fire. I need fire. This one's out had too? Some. Yeah. Try it. Oh, there's some in there. Fire in the dragon. And you, you really want to stay away from your edges because if you burn it a little bit, it'll stick to it. When it's dry, and you won't be able to get it out. You don't want to do that. That's bad. I'm going to get it. That's what she said on that. <laughs> Clara, I don't think I'll ugly cry. Make him ugly cry. <laughs> something with this. center light fill up. Let's try something. Let's try this. Hold on. Let me see. You're just a tad too much. I don't know if this will work, but I might as well have fun with it. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. He's just uh, filling up some. What are those masks called? Uh, Lucha Libre. Yeah. Lucha Libre. I think we got one more. Ooh, look how crazy that looks. Let's do something fun. Let's do some. What is this? I don't want brown. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to look. Well, you can tell it's sitting. It's getting thicker. That's what she said. Yeah, you can smell it. You can smell like when it starts setting up. Oof. 
Gotta get that fan going. You see our fan in the bay? My exhaust? I saw that. <clears throat> don't, don't show uh, Chindo, he'll be wanting me making one. Oh, I know, right? So there you go. Oh, so you can see it like bubbling. Oh, yeah, that's setting up. Look. Where do you get these molds? Online. You can get all this stuff on Amazon. <clears throat> that's where I got that mold. We tried to do coasters with this one time. With, uh, with, uh, Quick Coat. We tried to do like 20 coasters. That was almost a disaster. Cause it start, I mean, you're mixing, you start mixing colors and you forget that you have a 15 minute working time. Right, 15, 20 minutes. And then you have to start putting all the paint down and then you oh my god is it's not fun trying to do coasters with a quick coat but we had to because we were doing uh we were <clears throat> we were doing uh oh you see it see the bubbles you guys oh, see it smoking 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 Show? Oh, you guys can see it. Yep. It's magic. Magic. Sorry for all the movement. Up and wait. Hurry up and wait. Oh yeah. Oof. God, that smells. <laughs> that is the only thing I do not. <clears throat> I don't like. What is he doing? Look at this guy. Who is that? Bobby pants. When have you ever? What is this? Look at this. He's making his own art. This guy. What are you, a cat? He's like, look what I'm doing. You're not paying attention? Oh my god, he destroyed all the paper towels in the front room. <laughs> oh my god. That's why we can't have nice things, Bowie. No, he does that because. It's retaliating. Eric is not here. Man, this stuff smells. Yeah. I was going to put this fan. That's why I was coming over here to put this fan over here. That might distort it. The flame doing that. that. Or are you doing that? But it might fill in the pockets though. This stuff is like, it's taking a minute. I wonder if it's because we put so much, uh, we didn't put that much in there. The white and the black. Hmm. Not as fast as we thought. Well, it's, it's, it'll set. But the more... Oh yeah, look at that. Huh. It's just these edges. Alright. So, uh, how about we just talk about what everybody's doing today? Anybody working on any new projects? Or does anybody have any questions?
Yeah, I know. I'm so impatient when it comes to these little things. I wonder... Oh, fill the sides. Feel the heat. Yeah. yeah, you can feel the heat off this. Put your hand over the top of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, this will be... Oh, look at that. It's already... setting. We used to put them in the freezer. What does that do? It makes it faster. Really? Vroom Vroom Taylor. Uh, yeah, Giraffe, we will. That's why I did it with Quick Coat. So uh, he can see what the mold looks like. He just got this, so. Man, these guys are taking, like, not... Ooh, fill the bottom of that one. <laughs> That's really hot, dude. That's hot. Um, it's cold in Dallas, about 42. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of cold. Bowie, Bowie, enough. I don't know why he gets like that. Every little thing he barks at, and I'm not a fan of that. Let's see what this casting. You'll be able to take that anyway, so. I think the casting, and you can pour up to one inch, like one inch, maybe one and a half inch. I think, isn't, uh, isn't this casting epoxy, isn't it two to one? Because the, uh, Because the part A is a lot bigger. <laughs> Gabe was wanting to know how he prepped the canvas just in case he wanted to do a canvas. Yeah, how do you do that? <laughs> Give me all your secrets. We have no secrets here at ATD. Isn't that right, y'all? Ooh, who's going to be in Miami this weekend? Raise your hand. Uh-oh. Did you see that? What was that? I don't know. <clears throat> Some ghosts. We'll be doing a countertop in Miami. I'm hoping that our host will not be too jet lagged to do anything. God, that's so hot. God. I think we should just take it out. You want to take it out? Sure. I think it'll be all right. Just what you do, just just kind of push on it from the up and peel it from the side. There you go. Hold on, which is the face? That's the face. Okay. Push it. Now pick it up with your finger. Pick it up? Yeah. Is it hot? No. Is yeah. the bottom not dry? Let me see. Look at that! A baby! <laughs> He just had a baby. <laughs> his, his ear, aw, the ears, the ear didn't weren't dry. Damn it! We were so close. Uh, well, we could probably just put him back in there. Oh, oh he's he's not full cured. Look at this guy. <laughs> Gabe had his first baby. No. Puppy. This would be his no. third baby. Third. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all of that's what she said. 
Well, now I know just to just couldn't wait. We can mix another one and do it. Put him back. He was not ready. <laughs> and we can make him darker too. This was a want. test run. Test run. Fail number one. Now we have to uh, Clean up get all that. It will just come out. That's his ear. Yeah. All right, well, that's what you get when you get two impatient people that just. If we had something else to do, if we had another project, we could just sat it aside. <laughs> These guys. <clears throat> Ooh, that's hot. Gabe got off work early to do this today. Not really, but kind of. Kind of. Oh, that looks great. Those are fun. Sweet stuff. Yeah, I know, like, well, we'll do another one, and then, uh, we'll get margaritas. <laughs> you would think this would just come out of here. It's still warm. So it's like a 15 minute working time. Ugh, this this guy looks like he got shot in the forehead. <laughs> um, and then, let me margaritas, right? So if you guys buy our stir sticks, this paper does come off. And we stress to you, after every single time you use them, just get a rag with alcohol on it, 99%, we recommend, and just wipe them off. And yes, some resin or pigments will stick to it. If it's stuck here or on the sides or something, just give it a minute a couple days when it's dry just take a little exacto blade and it will pop right off not sure why that bothers people if it sticks to this because it's it's your stir stick it's gonna you know it'll it'll stick it if you don't clean it completely off if you leave it in resin resin is gonna stick to it then you have to peel it off that's why we tell people always wipe your stick off after you use it <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> it's a good one there. It's a good one. All right, so let's throw all this other. You just want to make a solid black one? <clears throat> Whatever's easy. What? Do, how much did we make? That was a great amount, right? We made four of those little guys. What did we make? We made close to probably four ounces. Yeah, four. That's a, that, you wouldn't think they did, that would fit in there. God. I got my phone and it's going to go off until I answer it. Man, these ears are like and then see that's why casting is better because it's a lot thinner and it's gonna go in those little crevices and stuff and 
you don't have to worry about God, look at that those that really that's quite a bit vamp is just all about that's what she said today <laughs> You guys, his little paws are like... Little diamond mines. A lot of detail in that mold. Yeah. His little feet? Oh no, those are his ears! Ears are... That's why. The ears are yeah, those are the ears. Oh, there we go. Nice and clean. Now let's make them darker. Not black, but darker. All right. Do that. See, look at that. There's resin on there. Now there's not resin because I wiped it off with alcohol. And let's say you do. Let's say you you leave it in your you leave it in resin, and the next day, wait about a day, and and literally. You could you could probably break it off if it's a big enough piece if it's that's laying around the stick you could probably break it off and peel it if not take exacto blade cut away from you and then put the exacto blade under the resin and it'll pop off and you could peel it right off all right let me clean off all these guys I know we're not using you don't want to you don't want to contaminate other resins with old resin. So wipe off all your usage. Oh, that might be done. Nope. Sweet. Make him all black. All black. Oh, we need a new cup. This cup is done, right? Yeah, it's done. Can't save that. No saving that guy. Alright, so we need. What did we do? We did two and a little bit. So up here, so shit, that was about five ounces. That's, that's quite a bit. Well, we don't want to make any more other those, so no. we'll just make sure we make two and two. And if you guys do have this quick coat and you see that it's yellowing, do not worry about that. It does that because it doesn't have any UV protectant in it. Once you mix it, it will go clear. So there's no need to worry about that. The, uh, the part B will just do that. to mix with that. Uh, Erica is with Judy right now. They're off doing girl things. Yeah. 
me and Gabe, we got to go eat at this place called, what is it, Harvey B's? Harvey B's. Very good little, I guess you would, you would call it like a little hole in the wall burger joint. Um, it's one of those places where you drive by and you go, I'm not going to go in there. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> um, but it's a part of Dallas. From what, from what you could, when you go in there, there's a lot of Dallas history in there. And the burgers are amazing. Harvey B's on Columbia? Yep, Columbia. Yeah. Over there in East Dallas. <clears throat> All right. I think they're good. Let me see that. Okay. Every time I think I haven't mixed long enough, I just do like a minute more. And we're going to do this a little faster so that we can do, we can pour and then do some heat. Then pour a little bit and do some heat so that we know that we got, you know, we got it all. We're getting most of the air bubbles out because it's pretty impossible to get all of them out, especially with this type of, this is not casting, so. You know, we can kind of make them seat there too if you want. black right like you can still see through you can still see through it so he's gonna be a black but dark gray right like a little bit darker so he might be a little transparent but I think that would look cool let's try that yeah. all right so we're gonna dump it and then I'm just gonna hit it with fire a little bit so do that put, put it in put it in his ears And then I'm going to hit it with a little bit of fire. More? Yeah. There you go. Alright. And then just... Yeah, pour it kind of slowly. I just, I haven't worked with this in a while, so I, I don't... I'm always used to like it setting up super fast. But that's because we're talking and we're mixing other colors, so. Somebody said we should add shimmer. This would probably be cool, but it's too late now. It's too late. Huh? Too late. See, doing this will get, hopefully, the air bubbles out of the bigger pockets. And I'm, when I'm doing this, I'm trying just to go right in the center. I'm not trying to touch the, uh, the mold. Is that it? No, there's more. I need to put more of this little pull over here. Let this guy set. Yeah. Let's put him. Let's put, put him over here. Put him something else. So we, for, so we forget about it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach you how to prep a canvas. Which I really don't like doing because we don't use canvases really anymore. We use the cradle boards. So we're gonna have you prep a cradle board. Board. Yeah, it's better than a canvas. It's sturdier and you don't have to worry about drooping. And it's smoother and it's a 90 degree angle. So, a 
All right, so if you guys want to stick around um, and watch <coughs> Gabe uh, prep a cradle board, you're more than welcome to. Can we need gloves? You do need new gloves? Do I? Um, not necessarily, but um, oh yeah, well we're going to take them off anyways because Somebody said we should put a timer on. No, we'll not. This will take at least 30 minutes. Somebody says let him set and have a beer. We got beer. Over Taylor. Alright, let's clean. So Gabe, are you really like interested in getting into this, like actually doing it? I think you had fun with the uh, coasters. I did. I think you should. I think you should. I'm here, right? Get into coasters. I think you should kind of begin with coasters. I wouldn't say go like you're asking me about doing a large one, like right. how to prep one. Don't do that. It will. It will literally be like, oh, you think you had fun with coasters? You're not gonna have fun with this big one. Like. Coasters give you a false sense of accomplishment. <laughs> That's what we always tell people. And people agree because it's like, oh my God, I just made this coaster. I'm going to go do a big piece now. And then you're like, wait a minute. Why does it look like this? <laughs> Why didn't it work? Like, right. It's so, it's so defeating when, when, unless you, unless you just know what the hell you're doing. Oh, well, that's your water, huh? Here, yep. it'll be right here. Sorry, I'm just trying to clean this up, y'all. I'm gonna get a new piece of paper. And yeah, I mean, it's fun doing a large piece if, if you have the amount of epoxy and you have the room for it and you don't care if you mess it up. That's a that's a whole nother ball game when you're messing with a big a big uh, a big piece like that. So what we're gonna do today, what we'll have you do is we have a couple different cradle boards here at Artist Till Death. Um, we sell these round ones with our patented cut that's uh, it's kind of an angle, so you can see that, so that you can hang it any way you like. Um, and we do sell these on our website. I guess I got black paint on that. Um, and then we have, we don't sell these yet, but we have square ones. We have 12 by 12 and we have 12 by 24 uh, canvas cradle board. And Gabe was asking me about prepping a canvas, which this is a lot easier and you know that it won't sag in the middle. Because if you have a canvas this size and you want to put a bunch of color on there, and if you don't prep the canvas right, or if it's a really poor quality canvas, it'll sag and then your your design will slowly you start adding like kind of go. And all that. Yeah, it'll that resin will slowly go to the end and or towards the middle and it'll droop, and that is no fun whatsoever. So what we'll do right now is we'll just get you. We'll have you do the round. So we can do something on that. And you, and actually, you can do the exact same thing 
to uh, a canvas that we're going to do to this. So if you don't have credit boards at home, you guys, and you've got canvases, all of this you can do. It's the exact same. No. It's the exact same process with the exact same materials. Um, so what we're going to do. have to sand MDF because um, it's really smooth already and if you do sometimes it gets fuzzy depending on your sandpaper um, with a canvas you probably want to because canvases are pretty pretty rough when you get them out of the packaging um, so I would sand it with like a 220 or a 400 depending on how big the canvas is and then what you're gonna do is we have we use the uh, PPG Ultra Hide Zero interior latex paint, dead flat. That's what that's called, dead flat. I'm going to shake this up. Stone coats live right now. Oh boy. Sorry, Mike. <clears throat> All right. So now, what we want to do? Look out, bow pants. Get you a roller. We always put uh, so you don't waste your rollers. I just get a Ziploc bag. Point, and you have a roller, so you have to throw them out, reuse them. But you always have to remember to, uh, to, uh, I was going to pour it in there, but this is okay. such a small, small canvas that I don't think it's really going to matter. Let's put some on there. Um, and this dead flat covers really well. Um, especially if you have a nice roller. need probably two coats if you're gonna resin over this when I if I paint something if I do a portrait on one of these I probably do about three coats because of how I paint and how I scratch away certain parts of it and then what I'm gonna do is just do the sides here You don't need a lot. And we have our friend Bert make these for us. We appreciate it, Bert. Bert is actually currently making Bowie and Cujo a set of stairs that go up to a platform that we can hook to that window over there. Oh, wow. So he can have a little, they can have a little perch to look outside. Right. We're gonna move the bar over to the other spot. This is basically, all you do is to prep MDF. This is MDF I didn't mention. Um, it's a very lightweight board. Um, very easy to cut. Um, and uh, very smooth. So all you're doing Covering that. Now what we'll do, make it go a little faster, put a little heat on it. <laughs> she lives walking through Walmart. <laughs> And that's the good thing about this PPG paint. Um, it's super opaque and it dries pretty quick. Very durable.
And like I said, you can do all these steps with canvases. You got smoke over there yet? I don't see any. Alright. So I think we're gonna, let's just do one more coat. Bowie? They are just, you should see these boys, they're just like sitting facing the door. canvas or a piece of MDF. Um, the sides, you can do probably another coat if you like, but they'll probably get painted anyways if you're going to uh, pour over this. What colors are you thinking? You're going to pour on this. Oh boy. <laughs> He's like, wait, what? Colors are over there behind that pillar. Yeah. Or you can use those. Those are tints and transparents. See, Gabe didn't know he was going to do a piece today. Look, Taylor! Go, Gabe, you can do it! <laughs> right there, yeah, next to the pillar. Please, please. You must calm down, sir. Must calm down. Wait for mama to get home. So see how you do. Uh, Mike and them just leave their uh, this and their in their uh, can once it gets to a certain height. I don't think you want to put that all the way in there because then you'll lose it. One big green. One big green. Green? That's a nice green. Black. Black gray green. And some gold. Come again? Black gray green and some gold. Black gray green and some gold. this this is a very nice this is a new gray that we got for uh, from just resin super super classy gray that's what we're gonna use for Aaron's countertops 
Yeah, I want this. Super nice. This is like Nardo gray. You don't have to have that. Look at this. <gasps> Blue diamond. <laughs> Blue diamond will go good with that. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and maybe some gold. So, scratch that. Yeah, this is good. If you guys notice, I haven't changed these gloves and I've been washing them off and using things and opening them. And they're doing all they're doing all right. I have one little tear. I think it's because when I opened up that the black, it was a little bit difficult. But those are pretty decent. What are, what are these? These are the venom ones, right? Venom. Yeah, these are venom. Um, they have another. Let's see, these are powder-free venom. Um, they have another type that one of our followers, one of you guys sent us that the inside was white and those were super durable and they breathed like it was, they're very nice, very nice gloves. But I am going to change these out so that I know I don't tear that anymore. Let's see what these and this... I don't know. Maybe gold might look good. I don't know. That's going to look good together. Man, my hands are sweaty. Yeah. How, how you how you see how you see in this piece? What are you, what are you thinking? <gasps> did she do it again? Did you do that again, Laura Taylor? She did. Very uh, she did because that's the old one, new one, new one. <laughs> Laura Taylor. We got blue diamond, and then what's what's the gray called? Silver gray. Silver gray. God, my hands are sweaty. I had to put mine in front of that fan. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. I think some hints of gold and house paint would look good, and spray paint. Oh, this is powder. Are there powders? <laughs> it won't let me place a hundred. And that for this and for that for the sake of me, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. Are these mica powders? Mica. Mica powders. No, that's just straight glitter. <clears throat> and and you guys, if you're new, we sell all of this stuff on our channel. Um, all right, try not to put gloves on if your hands are moist. You know, this is my new pair of gloves already. All right, so we're going to use some stone coat art coat. Okay. We're not going to use the fast stuff. All right, so Gabe chose some blue diamond. Man, this is like, you guys, this is a wide angle lens. Why is this guy all the way over here? Is that good? Yeah. All right, he chose blue diamond from Just Resin, uh, silver gray from Just Resin, and a little bit of gold powder. We can use this or this. Okay. Um, it should be done. I don't want to mess it up. I know. <laughs> Little 
What is your question, baby cakes? What, Kim Moist? Stop with that word. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, we did. All right, we'll do another. All right, so. spray paint can so if they're stuck to paper just let it dry all the way and then peel it off the paper rip it and then just it'll come right off spray paint cans lids all right we need to sand this first we're going to use a 400 and this is what i like to do with, with sanding um, so that because sometimes when you sand the edges um, or your fingertips you'll just kind of you'd probably know how to sand right right I'm pretty sure I know how to pretty sand. sure um, but what I like to do so that I know that I'm getting a full the pressure is just take a rag just a regular old rag and this saves this right here because when you sand when you use a lot you're sanding here you turn it over sand in here these two rub together and then that's wasted right so I like to put a piece of paper and just do like a once around. You can hear that. You can hear it like, yeah. Well, and you're getting all that. Right. If there's any trash in there. That's like, it? That's it. That's what you got. All right. Yeah, we're, uh, everybody's excited about that Artisan Summit. Oops. All right, so we got gray, green, gold, black. We're going to have to make some clear. So what we'll do, what we're going to do is we're going to mix some. We'll probably do like more than enough, probably like eight ounces. We'll put a clear down, and then you get to decide if you want to do like a dirty pour or you want to do like um, a swipe would probably be good with these because of this being white mm -hmm. have some negative space that's up to you you want to swipe it yeah I'll swipe it you know what a swipe is yeah, you remember what a swipe okay all right we start with we start normally we start with uh, when we use our coat part B because it's a lot thinner and so then when you pour the part A in, this is a lot thicker. It's a little easier to mix it. It's not sticking to the sides. All right, so we're gonna do four ounces of part B, and then we're gonna do four ounces of part A. It's good. Alright. Stir it up. Stir it up. Alright, since we have this, uh, since he wants to use some gold, we'll use this powder, the Just Resin Powder. if I want to use that or if I want to use this because we'll use both we'll just have that to where you can put the stir stick and then make your veins so that that'll be on top <clears throat> all right so like I was saying when you when you use a powder when you're when you're putting powder in in uh, in with resin always put the powder in the cup first sorry wrong camera um, we always like to load it up Put a little bit more in than what you would think that you would need because 
You want this stuff to float, you want it to stand out. The thing is, you don't have to make a lot. I just like to put a little bit more powder in so that the powder really stands out. Oh boy, just about spilled all of that. All that awesomeness. I really tried to put that on the cup. All right, so what I was saying, put the powder in first, then put your resin over it and stir it. Because if you put the resin in first, then put the powder over it, when you stir it, it'll give this like plume and it'll be everywhere. So you don't want to do that. So then with the colors, we'll start with the uh, blue diamond. Look at that, can you guys see that? It's not gonna come out. <clears throat> I wanna wrap my oh, yeah, collar you can see that. All right. So what we'll do, I always stir it up. We always like to stir up the pigment, just in case if it gets separated from all the materials that makes it amazing. So I'm just gonna put one dab. We'll do another one. A little dab will do ya. All right, now we're gonna take this gray. Stir it up. Just gonna put that in there. Should be good. And that's the thing with color. Always start out, don't don't put a lot because you can't you can't take it out once you put the resin in. Once you put the resin in, um, you can always you can always add more, you can't take away. That's no bueno. I think this is ready. <clears throat> You want to use black? No, we're using gray. Oh, so you're not you're, you're not using any black? Well, yeah, we can use some black. I thought you meant like black as the base. Do you want to put black as a base? No. Oh, okay. We can spray paint it black. I want some black in it. But... All right, let's just make a little bit of black. Here, pour some of that in here. Is that a tint? Yeah, that's good because we're not going to use a lot. This is the tint, the Illumilite Black that we also sell in our. Look at that. That's. We're going to see. This is what this is what this stuff is so crazy. <clears throat> Just that dot made that. That's insane. some for the gold just a little bit I'll tell you when that's good mix that and it is chilly outside huh a little bit. Feel it. All right. Fill these guys up. Fill them up. Um, I would do half. You don't have to worry about that getting on here because you're, oh, okay. you're gonna put that down on there anyway. That's good. All right. So now pour, pour this. Start here, and then kind of go toward the center. <clears throat> Try not to use all of it if you don't have to. So, so we, we can, can save some, some for like. A different color or maybe if we need it at the end because all we're doing here we're just putting the we're, we call this grease to the pan I'm pretty sure you yeah. just say that 
Alright, that's good. So, get, get, get some, some heat, heat on, on that. that. Let me turn this again. Put some heat. And then, are your gloves dirty? Do you have dirty gloves? A little wet. I don't want dirty gloves? Yeah, I want you to. I want you to no, just clean them all. I would get those. New ones? We're going to have some negative space in there. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know, sometimes when, uh, maybe when you talk too loud or, cause there's two mics, like there's one mic I think on this camera, maybe this camera, um, and then the Yeti goes together, it kind of gets crazy. So yeah. What's up? What's up? Sue. Alright, so what I want you to do is just make sure that entire thing is covered. With my hand? Yeah. to put down first like I'm thinking maybe the black like what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it in kind of a in a circle uh, I think you should just do it like I think that's good man if you want to do the sides you can that's not a big deal it's gonna trip over <clears throat> All right, so what we're gonna do, <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe, you know what? I'm gonna move this over here, y'all, so that we don't shadow. have those shadows. Is that a little better? <clears throat> why is that, why is this moving? So, there we go. I think it's because of that. There. <laughs> kind of. It's a little better. I have too many lights up there pointing down on this. All right. So, this is perfect here. All right. So what I think I want you to do, what we'll do is we'll do, let's see, if we did a, let's do this. What we'll do is we'll do a line. We'll do a line across here. We'll do 
a black, a green, no, let's do maybe black, gray, green, and then one little piece of gold, and then I'll have you swipe it this way. And then what we'll do is when we swipe it, heat it up, and then so from here, we'll tilt it so we'll let all that run down and then tilt it back so that'll stretch and then all these will be stretched. Kind of sell things. Okay. So let's do... Black. I would do about... I would do a line about just run it just like that. Just start off of it and then just don't stop at it. Just go right off of it. Just do a straight line. There you go. Sweet. Alright, and now let's do the gray or the green? Let's do, I'm afraid the gray is going to get, let's do the, the the green and do about the same. Next to it? Like here or here? Do it right here, right, right, in, right in front of it and try to maybe go over it a little. So it'll be underneath it. There you go. Oh, this is the first for me, y'all. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Same thing with the gray on this side, right? Do do it, do it right in the center. Cause I don't know how. I don't know if that's gonna get lost. So if it gets in between them, yeah, a little faster. There you go. Cause I don't want to put a lot of that. Cause it'll it'll take over. All right. Here's some gold. Put that, put a line of gold right over the top of that black. A thin one, just kind of almost do it fast. Kind of make this pointy. Gotcha. Yeah. Half of, half of thickness, there you go. Ooh, look at Gabe, what? All right. You'd be surprised, people. You tell them, okay, I need you to put a line right just like this. I had one, one person in class, they go like this. I mean, it was so, and I was like, okay, you. I guess you could, you know, make it a squiggly line. <laughs> and uh, squiggly the, person, line. the person was wanting like negative space, and then I was like, okay, now you're gonna put a little, one at an angle, and then this person just goes, wap, wap, wap. Like, I mean, <laughs> it was a, it was like, I was speaking a different language to him. All right, we'll give him some, we'll give a little bit of heat. Because when you swipe, you want it to be a little loose, but not too much. So, yeah, I know, that was crazy. All right. The swipes, swipe right paper. here. I'm going to be your assistant. So, what you want to do, do you want to try to do a big swipe or just like separate small ones? Let's do separate, separate. small ones. You're going to use that side right there, okay? get them ready so what you want to do put it put it just put just a little bit into that gold like on this side yeah okay and then you'll be able to see it yeah you see it yeah and i'll stop make sure that side's down no 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 lift it up all right now just drag it and if you want to do like if you want to kind of go sideways or a little bit of this a little bit of that and then straight just go all the way straight out. Yeah, put it over there. Don't ever reuse it. Yeah, pick it back up and bring it over. <clears throat> all right. And then kind of carry it. And if you want, if you want to, if you want to come a little right here, and you, that's up to you. If you want to match that side, that's that's completely up to you. If you want to go straight, yeah, that's a perfect amount. And leave it at that angle, so you're not. There you go. Yeah, and that's a perfect, like, speed. Sweet!
He's a natural. <laughs> He's doing great. All right, now we'll give it a little heat. Watch the magic happen. If there's any. <laughs> I wish, I, I didn't even think we, we, we should have like used uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to have this, you're going to tilt it towards me. Yeah. So kind of bring it this way so that you're not tipping it off and then just tilt it. I'm going to give it a little heat. And I want it to pour off of it. Right? If you want, yeah. I like it because then when you bring it back, it, it'll stretch. Tilt it that way. Yeah, just tilt it up back that way. There you go. See, you're in control of of how certain things look. Resin has its own kind of idea of what it's going to do, but as you can see, he's in control of how much this goes, which way this goes. That's completely up to him. And that's why resin is so amazing because it's so, it's, it's so diverse. It's so, you can use so many different methods and tricks and ways and tilting the super tilt. This is what we call the super tilt. Gabe's getting into it. I feel it. to tilt more if you want you know parts to move hit it with heat let me know if you want me to hit it somewhere yeah, or hit it with some heat let's see there's some trash normally if you're doing well if the people like it they'll say stop what I'm not a fan of is how light this is right um, but what we can do is <clears throat> you can heat it, you can heat this more up. We'll heat this up and then let all of this kind of go down into that. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so let's heat this up first. Get it nice and heated. Because what we're wanting, we're only wanting, we're only wanting all of this pass to, to go down so I'm trying not to put any heat on the on that major gold up there there we go look at that just make just let it go all the way down all this right here let it go down there oh yes Now bring it up and tilt it back. Yeah. All right, stop. Put it down. Woo! And yeah. always, like, like if you're looking at it and you're like, oh, I don't like it, move it. <clears throat> always move it. Move it to dirt like this, like. Right. Always move it. Don't settle for one way if, if, uh, if you're not feeling it. And always remember, it's gonna set like it's gonna keep moving overnight when it dries because of the metallic and these golds. It's starting to sell. See that negative space? I love it. 
That is super fun. That's part of the sale. I need to turn off the, uh, the heat because it's that's what's getting in this is all this trash. The gray is pretty much gone. Yeah. But it, it looks good. It separated that. I'm glad you left those parts. Yeah, I like because I don't. I think if you would have overlapped it, it would have. It wouldn't have given it that nice little contrast. That nice little island. What do the people say? He will be so proud. Awesome, Gabe. Killer, Gabe. It's a verdict. Torch and tilt. Pups in the mold. <laughs> Gina wants to see it. Pups in the mold. Don't forget about the pup. And the gold didn't take over. No. Not at all. If you want, you can take this. And you can give it a little bit more dimension to where what you'll do is we can uh, get a, a, clean, a clean stir stick. You just put it bare, like you just, I'm giving this to you guys. Just put the tip in and just run, just, just run it along this edge right here. Give it that. And what it'll do is this gold will sit on top of that. Let's do that. If you want to, Let's if do you it. want to do it. Let's do it. You know what I really want to do is, this is really bugging me because see how nice that looks? Yeah. This is, it's like. I think what happened was when you tilted it, you tilted it this way, and then you came back and it, you let it set. You didn't let it go. Right. So what, what what you'll do? Just just tilt it this way, this way, and that way, so that it kind of yeah. And don't let your hand, because that'll stop it. You just let it go over the edge. Now what I'm going to do, then, then tilt it down. There you go. Sweet! Dude, yes. that rocks. Yeah, this AC, I need to, I need to turn this off. The heater's on. Mm -hmm. that time. Yeah, I always like to. All right, this is what we're going to do so you don't. Damn, we don't have any more clear. So you don't, I don't want you to put gold on this just yet. So let's move this. I don't want this to drip on my table. What I'm gonna do is just make a sample. You see that? With this coaster so that we can look at that. Though, because we don't, we don't have any clear, let's just use this for that. So as a base. Yeah. All right. What we're doing? Can you guys see me? Nope. I need to move that camera over here. All right. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna try to reproduce that, which we don't have any clear, so. I'll just, they can see me, huh? Oh, that's crazy. I wouldn't think that you could see me. Should we just do one? We're just going to try to reproduce this really quick. I'm just going to do half and half.
All right, look at that, we had a little tiny one. All right, so now, this is what we'll do. Give me a little, let me open this just a little bit. So what we'll do, I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. Put the tip of that in there, just a little bit. You're not scooping it, just, just dip it, and then touch it on the table. So you get some of that, there you go. And just try to run it along that line right there, right right inside the gold part. And if you turn the stick, it's, you know, you'll see it, it'll kind of come off and then, there you go, just, just follow it. Here, get some more. I think it just kind of, yeah, it does stand out. Fades away. Yeah. There you go. Well, like I said, like when you're doing it, kind of turn the stick so that if there's some on the side or the back or the front, it'll it'll kind of trail off. Gabe is already beyond advanced class. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tracy, how are you? Your head is right above this camera. I'm sorry. So careful. See, it gives it, a, yeah, it gives it a whole different look, but that's up to you if you want to do it on there. I would, I would probably just. No, I'm, yeah. I'm afraid. I'm scared. No, that's good. No, I'd leave it. Let me go put this, let me get that. That's for you zone, ready? There we go. All right. Okay, let So good. Yeah, nice and clean. This is what I want to do, though. It's, it's classy. We're gonna have to do a uh, flood coat. What does that mean? Um, after? Yeah. After it dries? Yeah. Because we tilted quite a bit off, but I just I think I just saved it there. Because we when we tilted it so much that it got really thin and then it, it'll kind of separate from the edge. You see that? Yeah, yeah. And it always looks better with the flood coat anyways. You get some more like that? Yeah. All right. Gabe's peace, ladies and gentlemen. Ta-da! How fun is that? Wait, did somebody put some money down? What is that? Oh, they did. But what is it? Let me see. I don't know. I can't tell. It's got a little hippo or something. Yeah. $20. Thank you very much. So, um, here, I'm going to go get some coke. We can make some little matching ones. It's a good thing about being here in Bosch. You can go in your stock and out what you want and making them yourself. Still I that rag is that like toast? No, it's still good. All right, let's do 
do this. Here. Some mm -hmm. cups? No. Just lay a new sheet over? Yeah, that's right. It's hard for people to see what you're doing, too. Right. All right. You can just. Yeah. All right, so this is the fun part when you're doing stuff like this, is uh, um, is you can switch it up. Uh, these are our, our coasters that we uh, also provide on our website, artisttilldeath.com. Um, I think we're gonna discontinue these white ones because they're very much of a hassle to make these and they don't sell as well as the brown ones and the clear ones and if I don't have to make them then I'm happy with that because I have to put this paper on myself whenever I do these and it's not fun so that's why we're using these and all this is is just protective paper so that when I cut them, as you can see, this paper's burnt. It doesn't get on the, the coaster itself. All right. There we go. All right, so now, just put you a base down, any color. You have four different colors there. All right, sorry, let me uh, see if I can get to some questions if anybody has any questions. Sorry, no answer for that. You can watch videos, but not live videos, correct? I don't understand. Like, can somebody go back as we're being, as we're live, can somebody go back? Do, um, do this one do that color. Is that what they're asking, maybe? I'm not sure. Just get your, um, what I want you to do, and you have a beer though, and just because sometimes the, the, the coasters are easier when you do like a dirty pour and go, <gasps> yeah. and then tilt it, but you can use the, uh, the heat gun if you want. All right. So just do, um, do, what, what do you want to do? You want to do the same way? You want to do swipe? You want to do? No, I want to do something different. All right, do, um, just pour in the center. Just do a dollop in the center. That's good. And then do, um, do a little bit of the gray. In the center? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Gabe's new. Pretty birds. Pretty that's birds. good. That's, that's going to be a lot. Um, do a black. And then we'll do some gray. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to use one of these and we're just going to do a, a, what do you call it? A smush. Smush. Yeah. Use it. You're gonna, yeah, you're going to take them. Put that on top of that and then turn it. And it's, it's going to be kind of difficult to peel apart. So smush it, pick it up. Smush it. And not too much. That's it. Okay. Now, now peel it apart. Just peel it apart? Yeah. It's very difficult. There you go. Now flip it over. And I'll put one. Look at that! It almost looks like your other ones. Almost. Look how fun. It's see you see you got a gray background, teal background. What? Y'all, how fun is that? Ha! <laughs> It's like a peacock. Now we did not smush it. Smush. 
Okay, we had to get it out of his system. I had to. <laughs> You'll learn to never do that. Why? Because that's like... <laughs> Hopefully that'll look uh, decent. Just putting that much black and then crossing it like that... It's bad. It'll get, it'll get very, very busy. Heat it up. Put some heat on it. Shit, you could swipe it even. Yeah, let's swipe it. Just do... Just go from that end and just drag it all the way over here. Right. And I would tilt the hell out of this. That's what black is, is gonna take over. Ooh, that's fun, take it back. See how it just kind of, yeah. See when you do that, your your uh, fingers getting in the way, so it stops it from flowing. And I would try to avoid to when it oh. drips on there, because on the back of these, these are just regular, and that will stick to that, and right. then you'll have a really crappy back, the back of it, and you'll have to sand it. Ooh, that's a nice cells, but. Just leave that guy. He's a lost cause. No. <laughs> no lost Hi, cause. Hi, Teresa. Save a coaster. <laughs> Let's do <laughs> he's trying it. He's trying to No! Stay with me! as good as that one's going to get. Yeah, you can always add. Oh, there's quite a teal. Okay. 
Give me those scratch and papers there. Put a line of gray on there, just so you can add more color. <laughs> We're trying to save it. He's trying, y'all. He's trying. Yeah. He's a natural. See you soon. Thank you. I think I want to leave that. That looks fun. Yeah. Looks like an abstract painting. Let's see it's starting to sell. Yeah, that gray. That's good. a lot. There you go. Bada bing. So I just put those dots on there and they just expand. That's crazy. What'd you think? You got some more. You got a lot left. Wow. More coasters? Just put that to the side. Just make sure that it's on the table. Yeah, let's do another coaster. Gabe is a natural. He's got the touch. Impressive. He saved it. Ooh, Gabe! Gabe gonna start his own channel. <clears throat> Follow me. Ooh, I love this. Where my gray is at? Your gray? We use it all up. Oh, here no. it is. Over there. See, Gabe used to be into, uh, well, he kind of still is into, uh, what are those, RV cars, VR? RC cars? RC cars. You thought that was an expensive hobby. <laughs> oh, it's, RC racing is oh, I know. probably the most expensive hobby I've ever been into. <clears throat> Great job, Gabe and Thornton. Gotta skedaddle. See ya. Thanks, JJ. Have a good one. Have a good one. Make go make lots of monies. And you guys, how long have we been using this? This art coat is awesome.
People are going to watch the, they're going to see this, uh, the thumbnail and be like, this is horse hockey. This is not a Frenchie. This is not a Frenchie. We've been, uh, what do you call that when you, uh, it's clickbait. Yeah, clickbait. There you go. Get your swipe on. Get your swipe on. I need some swipe paper. It's all over here. What exactly is this white paper? It's pretty much whatever. Like you can use like uh, butcher paper. Um, what else do we got? Um, wax paper. Yeah, it's like wax is, this paper. This is the backs of uh, mailers. Mm, okay. Sorry, y'all. I, I literally forget <laughs> that we are live. Sorry, y'all. Thanks for hanging out. Quick coat is super fast. Yeah. This is just art coat. This is, uh, we've been using this for, God, what, an hour now? We've been on two hours. Wow. Gabe gonna start making stuff for the baby room. All that fun artwork. That's fun. Flood the house with posters. Boom! Nothing to it. That's so fun. All right. What about our dog? Our oh cup? yeah. Yeah, there's there's some left, but I'm over it. Let's do this. Let's take these to the get that one. We're gonna take these to the dust free zone. We'll be right back. Sticks, wipe them off. Cat 
caps too? Just throw them down there. Seven sticks. See you guys, just all you do, you just wipe them off with alcohol and it comes completely off and you can reuse them. Like I said, we sell all this stuff on our website, artisttelldeath.com. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you can just email us uh, or leave a comment on this on this uh, video, and uh, somebody will see it. Or you can email us at Thornton at artisttelldeath.com. And we also have a uh, YouTube, not YouTube. A, uh, a Facebook a Facebook group called ATD's Poor People. Just go answer the question to join and you will have all the knowledge of all the people. Um, we do a lot. Majority of uh, the ATD's Poor People is about resin or sometimes acrylic. Um, but we do every kind of artwork pretty much. We do a lot of portrait work, a lot of murals. Um, a lot of chalkboard work. We do body painting. Arts. So this channel, this this website, I'm sorry, this website, uh, this channel. Why, why am I like stuck here? Um, we do a little bit of everything. So it's not just resin. Um, okay, like I say, we do a lot of tutorials on portrait work or murals or a little bit of everything. All right, this is done, y'all. So yeah, came to see. Ready. Where you at? Where you at? Is his ears like? <gasps> oh. oh, look at that! <laughs> that is awesome. Look at his little ears. They are huge. Yeah, that's what they're known for. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's the big ears, so they uh, Let's see the difference. Show the difference. Bulldog. Okay, so Bulldog test run. And a good one. How awesome is that? Look at that guy. That's so cool. Like, look, you can see the hair. Yeah, that mold is very detailed. And the, that's from the other stuff. Yeah. It grabbed a little bit. But you can even paint paint him at, at this uh -huh. point if you, you wanted could. to. That's wow. so rad. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's go just that's overhead. Here, we'll show him just. Hello, guys. Now well, it'll uh, oh no, we didn't, um, Laura, we didn't use the casting resin. This is this is uh, this is quick coat and um, no cleanup. Best part. Yeah, the quick coat. If we were to use the casting, we would have to let dry till tomorrow, this time. This is awesome. Um, can I ask where Gabe got the Frenchie mold? Yes, I found it on Amazon. Um, if you give me one second, I can actually give you the actual. It's all good. Link. Laura. Brightness down. Yeah. Oh. There you go. So, is there a part number on here? I just think it is. So it's made by Fiwo. Let me zoom into that. 
It will, but it's it's picking up on anything in the background. Gotcha. That's the mold you want to look for. It's made by Fewo, F E W O. It's a 3D French Bulldog silicon mold. What is a good resin for clear casting? Um, the uh, the stone coat casting clear is amazing. Um, God, I've got to get. Uh oh, I think mom's oh, old puppers. Uh, Just resin, I believe, has a uh, a clear coat casting. I'm not sure. Um, let me think. Who else has a good casting? Um, I do know that. Stone Coat's casting clear is pretty amazing. Um, we rarely do casting stuff because um, we haven't had we haven't done anything clear. You know, I've got to fix this. Uh... Let's see here. Hold on a second, y'all. I'm trying to uh, fix. <clears throat> Here, we'll just go Lucy Cam. <clears throat> because I need to... Uh... Oh, that is that. <laughs> What's that? Let me... Uh... This is so bright. I apologize for this, y'all. There we go. And I will show y'all a little bit up close of the little, of your, uh, this little guy. Uh oh, mom's home. Look at his little tail. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is too cute. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah, all the stone coat stuff is is the best in the biz. And 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 I don't say that because I love them. I say that because it's true. Um, they put their they put their their product where their mouth is. I mean, it's they have an amazing company over there, they have an amazing family. Um, and they, they put out good stuff. They, they, they put out good, good, uh, good product. I mean, you, you show me a better resin than Art Coat that you can get at least two hour working time with no odor, up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit resistant, an amazing UV protectant. Like, come on, it's amazing. It's a good stuff. I'd hack off a limb for stone coat. <laughs> Where's my bee? Let's see those nails, girl. They're just regular. They're just regular. Did you find any good stuff? Yeah, do you bought four wigs? Wig day. Show them. We can't. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Boys are hollering at me outside. So there he is. All right. We're looking at this camera here. Thank you guys for showing up today, hanging out with us for two hours. Two whole hours. Gabe's going to be hooked. I think Gabe already is. Hooked. Gabe's hooked on it. Hooked on phonics. So, um, this is all of our info. Doink, doink, doink. We got email. We got Venmo. If you want to send us some money, we have. Uh, Instagram account to go see a little bit behind the scenes, a little more, um, a little bit more other artwork that we do. Um, ATD's Poor People, that um, is our group on Facebook. We have a, a business page on Facebook, Thornton Artist Till Death. That's kind of in between everything else. Um, show the we have a spring tea 
And we have our um, snail mail. So if you guys want to send us a sample of something that you would like for us to show on the on the on the channel, or just send us something, whatever, you can send it to us. We're in Dallas, Texas, just right downtown. Detail. Um, don't forget about the Artisan Summit that's coming up in April. Stone Coat Countertops is putting it on. We have been um, lucky enough to be asked again to speak at it. Um, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be twice the fun, twice the people, I'm sure. Um, it's probably one of the smartest things you can do for your, for your business, for your art career, for your YouTube channel, for your, for you, for yourself, to get stuff done, to, to stop procrastinating and, and just do stuff. You know, get it done. Get on the map. Put your, put your happiness first and your creativity up there where you can do what you love doing. That's what we do. Um, be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. You guys have an awesome Wednesday night. Thanks, Gabe. You did awesome. Thanks for having Didn't me have again. To yell at you. That was amazing. <laughs> he, was, he was jabbing at me behind the cameras. Um, you guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Thursday? Peace. Um, probably 8 o'clock. Bye. I said bye.